Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem. Count complete tree nodes. Given a complete binary tree, count the number of nodes. Now the definition of complete binary tree is given over here. So you can read the definition from here only. Now let us consider one example. So for this example, you can clearly see that the number of nodes in this tree are six. So the output is six. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. Now this problem can be solved in multiple ways. Now the first way that comes to our mind is what we can do is we can write a recursive method and we can call for the recursion for the left subtree and for the right subtree. So suppose from here we are getting L and from here we are getting R. So we can simply return 1 plus L plus R. So this algorithm works in ON time complexity where N is the number of nodes. So this is actually correct but in case this question is asked in an interview, the interviewer is not expecting such a solution. Reason being, we are not using any property of complete binary tree. There are certain properties of complete binary tree and full binary tree which you can use in this question, but we are not using them. So now let us move to the advanced solution for this question. And before actually moving to the advanced solution, let us first discuss some of the properties of complete binary tree and full binary tree. So if you see, this is a complete binary tree. So in a complete binary tree, nodes at all the labels are completely filled so over here the nodes are completely filled over here the nodes are completely filled except for the last row correct so if you see over here if uh, we can see that the number of nodes over here are to the power zero this is that zero for here it is to the power one for here it is to the power two so we can say that the count of nodes at depth edge is actually equal to to the power h given that all the nodes are present correct that is it is completely filled now in case we have a full binary tree of height h we can actually find the number of nodes in over time complexity using a formula so in case we have a full binary tree of height h the number of nodes is actually equal to to the power 0 for the 0th level, to the power 1 for the first level, up to so on, plus to the power h. So if you see this is the GP, so this solution is to the power h plus 1 minus 1. So actually for a full binary of height h, you can find a total number of nodes in it using O1 time complexity. Correct. So this is what we are going to use in this question. Now the next property that we are going to use in this question is the height of a complete binary tree. So normally in order to find the height of a binary tree, we call a recursion and we call it for the left subtree and for the right subtree then we find the maximum of those values and we'll just add one to it now the thing in a complete binary tree is that it is actually left majority is on the left so you can see that the nodes on the last row is actually on the left hand side correct so it's kind of left leaning so what we can say that the height of the left subtree is always going to be greater than or equals to height of right subtree that's why in this case you don't have to call for the right subtree side so if you see this is the height recursive method and you just call it for the right subtree and you would just add one to it correct so in here the height works in o log n time so these are the two properties that we are going to use in our solution so now let us move to our solution okay so in our solution what we're going to do is we are first going to find the height of the complete binary tree given to us so suppose this height is h then we will find the height of the right subtree let this height be x now there are two cases the first case is when x equal equal h minus 1 so if you see carefully in this example x is actually equal to h minus 1 correct so in case x equal equal h minus 1 what we can conclude is in the last row the last node belongs to the right subtree why is that because this is contributing to the height so just suppose that in case l is not there in case l is not there x won't be equal to h minus 1 so actually this node is contributing to the height of x in order to be equal to h minus 1 so in case this is uh, in case x equal equal h minus 1 what we can conclude is in the last row the last node belongs to the right subtree now if this is the case actually left subtree forms a full binary tree if you see carefully so in case this is forming a full binary tree, we already know how to calculate the total number of nodes in a full binary tree of height h using this formula, correct? So what we can do in this question is, uh, means in this case is, uh, we will just, uh, the total number of nodes for this is going to be equal to actually 2 to the power h minus 1, correct? 
then we will add one for the root node and then in case the recursive method is f we will call the recursion for the simply write subtree so this is going to be the answer so to the case one correct now there is case two as well so let me just uh, rub this thing in the case two as well we are going to find this total height which is going to be equal to h and this height which is going to be equal to x now let us suppose that in this case we don't have l and k these nodes are not present so in case these nodes are not present so you can say that this is the case two in this case x is actually not equals to h minus one so what we can conclude from here is that in the last row the last node belongs to the left subtree so if this is the case then actually in this case the right subtree forms a full binary tree of height h minus 2 correct this is actually h minus 2 in this case if you see carefully so actually for here we will find the total number of nodes for this tree using the formula that is given to us so this is h minus 1 minus 1 then we will add 1 for the root node and then we will call the recursion if the f is the recursion for the left subtree. So this is what we are going to do in this question. So I will just show you the code as well. So actually this is the code. What we are going to do is in the count nodes we are getting this root. Then we will call the height for the root. In case height is negative we will simply return as 0. So this is the base case. Then we will find the right height. In case right height equal equal h minus 1. This is the first case. So what we are returning is this. This is 2 to the power h plus we are calling the recursion for the right subtree otherwise this is 2 to the power h minus 1 so if you see over here this is 2 to the power h minus 1 this minus 1 and plus 1 cancels out plus we will call the recursion for the left subtree so let me just write the code for this thing and then things will be more clear so what i am going to do is first i am going to write a height method so let us say our height method is returning int and it will take tree node root so in case root equal equal null we will return minus one otherwise we will return height for root dot left and we will add one to it okay now for this uh, what we are going to do is first we are going to calculate the complete height which is equal to this uh, method so this will be root so let us call this variable h actually this will be better now first we will check in case h in case h is negative in case height is negative we will simply return 0 that is number of nodes are 0 now we will find the right height so we will have right height this will be equals to height for root dot right now two cases exist that is in case right height equal equal height minus 1 in this case what's going to happen is the left subtree is actually a, comp uh, a full binary tree so we'll return 1 left shift h which is 2 to the power h plus we'll call this recursion for the right subtree that is root dot right we've already discussed this thing in case you are having doubt you can just uh, go back in the video and you can see the explanation else the right subtree is going to be a full binary tree so we will return one left shift h minus one plus we will call the recursion for the right okay so let me just submit this code once so it's giving a wrong result so actually this is going to be equal to left correct uh, so let me submit this once again so it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel